So this week we will be writing a story. And before a writer begins a story, they have to plan. And that's our pre-writing. And what you're going to be planning is a story map. You are going to be thinking about the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution that will take place in your story. Now, this is kind of tricky because you have to think of your story in advance before you actually put it all down on paper. And so I took some time to think about who do I want in my story? Who are the characters that I want? And I've chosen a little girl, a puppy, and a teacher in my story. And I had to choose where my story was going to take place, the setting, where the action was going to happen. And I chose a school because, well, what place do I know better than a school, right? And usually an author, when they are writing a story, make sure that they have a lot of knowledge about what they're writing about. So I decided to make my problem this. I decided to make the problem that a little girl's puppy climbed into her backpack before school. So the little girl's puppy climbed into her backpack before school. She didn't know he was in there. Maybe he climbed in there to take a nap. And then that's the problem because she's going to go to school and she's going to have a puppy in her backpack. So now I have to decide what my solution is. My solution is. And I thought about it and I thought, well, maybe the teacher finds the puppy and she calls mom and dad and says, come and get the puppy. Or, you know, the puppy has to wait in the office all day. But then I thought, you know what? It might be fun if the students read to the puppy. Oops. Keep doing that. The puppy and play with him at recess. So that's the solution to my problem. The students read to the puppy and play with him at recess. So we have talked about a story having a beginning, a middle, and an end. And this is what you have just mapped out. Because in the beginning of a story, you introduce who your characters are and the setting where the, where the story is happening. That's what happens in the beginning. In the middle of the story, well, that's the problem. The problem comes up that this little girl's puppy climbed into her backpack, right? So that was the problem that I decided. And then at the end of the story, you have your solution, how the problem is solved. So you have to think about all of those things. And your story can be about anything that you want it to be. But you have to go ahead and really think about what it's going to look like before you even start to write. Because that's what authors do. That's what writers do. They really plan what they're going to write about it before they start to write. So that's your job today. Create that story map.